Ocon signed Davy Zelka over the winter break, but started this one with Stefan Tigas up front, hoping he'd be like his opposite number, Niklas Fulkrug, and do what he did at the World Cup and get his name on the score sheet. After two months without a competitive game, Köln attacked a sleepy Bremen side with everything they had from the first whistle. In less than ten minutes, they were in the lead, courtesy of some fast Elias Skiri footwork and a precision finish from Linton Miner. Miner's goal spurred the Billy Goats on. Six minutes later, they were two up when former Bremen man Florian Kainz crossed for Tigges to force home his fourth of the campaign. With just over 20 minutes gone, Zizi Pavlenka's clearance went straight to Tigges, who smoothly sized up the task in front of him and lifted the ball towards goal for Köln's third of the game. Köln were rampant and Bremen had no answer. The home side scored a fourth on the half-hour mark through their only World Cup participant, Tunisia's Elias Skiri. For only the third time in the club's history, Köln had bagged four goals in the first half-hour of a game. But they weren't finished by far. Six minutes later, the impressive youngster Dennis Hussein Bajic got his third Bundesliga goal in what was only his tenth Bundesliga game. Bremen were floundering and needed something to steady the ship. Just two minutes after Köln's fifth, the often deadly combination of Marvin Dux and Niklas Fulkrug gave Bremen a small glimpse of a possible fight back. At the break, Köln had had five shots and scored five goals, well exceeding all expectations. After the break, they continued to dismantle the visitors. Nearly ten minutes after the restart, Skiri scored the goal of the game. A fine sideways volley, making it 6-1. And to send Köln and their fans into seventh heaven, Marco Friedel's first senior own goal made it 7-1 with 15 minutes to play as Köln recorded a club record win over the green and whites. For Bremen, a game to forget, but Köln and their fans never will.